We're back with another Buckner home painting. <clears throat> In about 2015. My wife and I went out to the Southwest and went into some of those Pueblos. Went out to Mesa Verde and other places. And I was struck by the living conditions. It reminded me of Buckner Orphan's home. Very spa sparse, sparse. Walk in one room and there'd be some tourists in there and you say, what's your name? It's just like Buckner's. It was a maze. I mean, it's just leaves an impression on your mind to go through those maze of rooms and talk with different people to get bored. There's a bathroom. We, I just put those shower, those curtains in there. I don't remember seeing any curtains at Butner's. I don't remember seeing a single window shade. It was just uh, very Spartan, very Japanese. But it's interesting because if you're bored with one person, you can just go to another room and see some of your friends and start up a different conversation, collecting bird eggs or going fishing and I never was in the girls' dorms very much. I suppose theirs was the same as ours. Uh, some people did go over there to date, and we would sit in the girls' parlors. And I did do that once or twice, but I never had a long relationship uh, with the same girlfriend. I didn't like waving at them and, you know, idle conversation you had to have with them. At the time, I've changed some now. And I'd go to my brother's building. It's a across the campus from mine see my brother a while and look at the rooms. They were all just all the same. There was just basically just beds in them with metal lockers and that was it. No pictures on the wall. Sort of like the Southwest Indians. It's and you were, sometimes you dream of these mazes of rooms. I think that would be a good name for this painting. <clears throat> call it, just call it rooms. People living their daily lives and I want to thank you for coming to my channel once again and we'll call this one Rooms. Thank you once again. <laughs>